Good evening and welcome to our fifth and sixth grade holiday concert. Uh, please ask that you turn off any uh, cell phones or any type of device that would make any noise and enjoy the show. than most you've probably seen. Um, when I first came here, uh, the fifth graders did not have a holiday concert. Uh, we were really just working on our fundamentals, and then we'd have a concert in, this, um, in May. But I wanted to give them a little bit of a chance to have a performance opportunity a few years ago, so we uh, started doing this more informants. So this is a little bit different than a normal concert in that we're gonna, um, we're gonna show you some of the things that we've been working on uh, with uh, developing our beginning band skills. In that first song, Deep Breaths, uh, the wind players are working on taking nice deep breaths between whole notes, and the percussion is working on good wrist motion and keeping a nice steady beat through that. Our next couple songs that we'll be playing are ones that you've, uh, especially the fifth grade parents, have probably heard plenty of times. Um, there's usually some of the staples of fifth grade band, uh, the first one here being Hot Cross Buns. into the next song, Merrily We Roll Along, which is very similar to Hot Cross Buns in that it uses the, the same three notes for most of it. There is one added note, but one of the bigger things that happens in this one is it introduces the repeat sign. And if you don't know anything about music, a repeat sign uh, sh uh, tells us to repeat the song again. Uh, so if the music is exactly the same, um, instead of writing another line of music, they will just use a repeat sign. So this is uh, one of the songs that we use to get used to using repeat sign, getting uh, students' eyes to move to that next spot. So we'll be playing 
Merrily we roll along, which most people know as Mary had a little lamb. familiar to uh, students. They don't hear quite as often. So I like to introduce it. Uh, it uh, uses uh, a good, you know, uses a lot of repetitive notes, which is uh, really nice to get used to using uh, that uh, good repetitive uh, rhythm and then keeping that nice and steady. And it's another song that does use some, uh, does use a repeat sign. So again, reinforcing that repeat sign. So we're going to be playing for you. Good King wants this lot. signs, which tell students to uh, just repeat one previous measure uh, from what they've been doing, and also first and second endings. So they need to make sure they're repeating, but back to a certain spot, and then the second time taking that second ending instead of that first ending. So again, it uh, really reinforces uh, the moving around between music so that we can make it try to sound seamless as we play. Uh, once the fifth grade is done playing their portion of the concert, uh, they'll switch spots with the uh, uh, sixth grade, and then the sixth grade will do their portion.
song played by the sixth grade band was uh, Angels We Have Heard on High. Uh, the second song we're going to be playing is Nicholas Variations. So it's taking the song Jodel St. Nicholas and doing variations upon that. Uh, that's a really commonly used uh, uh, technique by composers in order to take something, a uh, melody, and expand upon it and make it a little bit more interesting for the listeners. So as we're playing this, we're going to be doing a couple different things in order to get variations. One of the easiest ones is dynamic changes. There's some places we'll be playing a little louder and some places we'll be playing a little softer. Uh, another way is uh, instrumentation-wise, um, who's playing. So there'll be some spots where the percussion, uh, the percussion is playing with the, uh, the brass and then also per uh, the percussion playing along with the woodwinds and getting a little bit different sounds from that. And it starts by doing it uh, over a couple measures, but then he, at one point in the song, even going back and forth between uh, the different notes. So I hope you enjoy our rendition of uh, Nicholas Variations. Uh, sixth grade band will be playing is uh, the Nutcracker. We'll be playing a couple selections from the Nutcracker. Uh, the first uh, little bit is the overture to the Nutcracker, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, uh, until I played it in an orchestra maybe about five years ago, I really never heard the overture to the Nutcracker. You know, you've always heard uh, the march, bum, 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 you know, things like that, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, you've probably heard a lot of those. Um, but I hadn't really wasn't really familiar with the overture. So we'll be playing the melody from the overture, the very beginning of the Nutcracker, and then also uh, a part called the Trek. Um, just a couple of housekeeping things here at the end. Uh, once uh, the concert is over, uh, I'll open up the curtains in the back here. Uh, students can go ahead and uh, put their instruments away. And if they have a little bit of time, uh, you know, I know a bunch of people probably want to get to the Viking, you know, watch the Vikings game and things. But if you've got a little bit of time, we want to just get uh, the uh, chairs and stands kind of into the band room so it's a little bit uh, more uh, cleaned up up here for tomorrow. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the concert and have a safe drive home.
again. Thank you for coming to our concert and have a happy holiday.